cooking, cooking, cooking with Amy. Hey guys, good morning. I have a fun summer salad recipe I think you're going to absolutely love. Coleslaw, I think, can get a bit of a bad rap. It can be pretty boring. A lot of times if I see it on a buffet, I'll just pass right by it and overlook it. However, I do love really great homemade coleslaw, and I'm always looking for new fun ways to jazz it up. I do a Door County uh, coleslaw with dried cherries in it. I do a bacon and blue cheese coleslaw. I do a coleslaw that has apples and pecans in it. So all sorts of different fun uh, coleslaw recipes in both of my cookbooks. This is a new recipe, though, that I put together. It's got a little of a kick to it, and I think it's really fun to serve with um, some of that Southwest food that you do on the grill. Great for uh, with the fajitas. It'll be wonderful with the ribs. Um, I'm doing it with pulled pork sandwiches today. So this is my Tex-Mex coleslaw. Um, and it's fun, different, and the best part about it, it's very, very easy. So you can either buy pre-bagged, shredded coleslaw and use that, or you can shred up your own coleslaw. And we're going to do a quick homemade dressing with sour cream, mayonnaise, about a half of a cup of sour cream, and a cup of mayo. Then I'm going to do some fresh lime juice. And that's going to lighten up the dressing and really give it some nice tang. A lot of coleslaw recipes, you know, of course, have uh, vinegar in them. And so this is kind of a, a substitute of vinegar using the lime juice. And that's why I call it the Tex-Mex coleslaw. Then I've got some fresh garlic we're going to do in here. Two to three cloves of fresh chopped garlic. Coleslaw is one of those things that you really need to make it ahead of time, at least a few hours. Um, even morning of or night before. That flavor just gets in there and it makes all the difference in the world if that cabbage can sit in the dressing and kind of soak up the flavor. So unlike some salads, which you can't really make ahead of time, this one you can, in fact, you should and you must actually, if you really want to get that great flavor. So the dressing, again, sour cream, mayonnaise, garlic, lime juice, I'm doing some salt and pepper. Now whisk that together. Now I'm going to take my shredded cabbage. It's about eight cups of shredded cabbage, or you can just do one big bag of the coleslaw mix. If you've got the time, it's always nice to shred up the cabbage. Then for some color, I've got some diced or sliced red pepper, just sliced it into thin strips. A little bit of heat. We're doing some jalapeno pepper. And again, that's that great Tex-Mex flavor. Uh, if you don't want it too spicy, you can leave it out altogether. But this isn't going to be too hot. And now I've got some green onion. We're going to do some green onion and or some scallion. Same thing. It's going to add that hint of onion flavor. And then I'm doing some chopped fresh cilantro, which of course is that great southwest flavor. Just want to chop that up. This is, like I say, really nice, even if you're doing with burgers and brats, grilled chicken, something a little different. So you get this into the refrigerator. covered and let all those flavors really come together. And then if you're serving it in a big bowl for like a potluck or a barbecue, you could garnish it with a little bit of fresh cilantro on top. Really nice with pulled pork sandwiches because you can actually even put a little bit of the, the slaw on top of the sandwich. So you've got that warm thing with the sandwich and the cool with the coleslaw. So there you go, my Tex-Mex coleslaw recipe. Recipes on the website. You can also pick it up at any area festival foods. Enjoy.